Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really quick and easy fresh salsa recipe. I know you guys are definitely going to love this one. It is perfect for the summertime and really easy to pull together. So I'm sharing that with you today. If you are new here, definitely don't forget to hit that little subscribe button. I would love to have you give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get into this super delicious salsa recipe. So for the produce in this recipe, you're going to need about seven or eight Roma tomatoes. You're also going to need a small yellow onion as well as some garlic, one jalapeno, you can use a little bit more if you want, and you're also going to need a green pepper for this one. So I am just starting off by taking out the stem of my Roma tomatoes. So for tomatoes in this recipe, I do prefer the Romas because they give you a little bit thicker salsa, but if you have a garden, go ahead and use whatever tomatoes tomatoes are nice and ripe. The Romas will definitely make thicker salsa than like a beef steak or something like that. But you can try and use whatever you have on hand. But here I'm just taking out the stems and then I'm also scoring the sides of the tomatoes just to make them a little bit easier for blanching. So now it is time to actually move on to blanching the tomatoes. So all you're gonna need is a pot of boiling water and you're just gonna drop your tomatoes right into the pot. You're gonna let them boil for maybe like 30 seconds to a minute just until those skins start to kind of peel just a little bit. And then while those are in the water, I like to get my ice water bath ready. So here I just have some ice and some water. Just gonna get that ready because when we pull the tomatoes out, we're gonna pop them right into the ice bath and it really helps helps get the skins off of the tomatoes. So here my tomatoes were in for probably about a minute and now I'm pulling them out. They're going in the ice water bath. I'll let them sit for a good minute or so and then I will peel the skins off. So now that the tomatoes are all blanched, we are ready to just peel the skins right off. You can see here how really easy they are to peel off. Definitely go ahead and blanch your tomatoes for this recipe. It really is super simple. You could leave your skins on if they don't bother you, but I do prefer the skins to be off for this salsa recipe. I think it makes it just a little bit better. So I'm just gonna finish getting all of these skins off now. So as far as actually chopping up the tomatoes, there's a couple different options. I will usually just pull out my chef knife and I will chop them up. I do like to make them pretty fine, but the pieces honestly cook down in the salsa anyway. Another option is that you can actually just squeeze your tomatoes right into your pot and kind of make them crushed like crushed tomatoes out of a can would be. It's just personal preference here. If you want chunkier salsa, go ahead and do bigger chunks at this time, but I like finer salsa so that is what I do is some finer chunks and I do also pull out some of the seeds but if you don't like seeds in your salsa go ahead and take all of the seeds out at this time if you want and that would be perfect as far as the rest of the fresh produce you're going to need about half of a green bell pepper so I'm just coring that out here and then I'm gonna actually throw all of this produce right into my little ninja blender it just kind of chops it up really nice and finely you're also going to need one small yellow onion and then you will need a jalapeno so if you want it to be spicier you can add a little bit more jalapeno or another option is to leave the seeds in I do take all almost all of the seeds out just because we don't like super spicy salsa in this house. So this is going to be a pretty mild salsa. I think any family member would like this. It's definitely not too spicy or anything. So that is what my jalapenos look like. And then here I have about four or five cloves of garlic. I'm just throwing that right into my little ninja chopper. I like to do that first so it gets really nice and finely chopped up. And then I actually like to toss my jalapeno on there and get that really finely chopped up as well. Mm -hmm. 
I like to take out the minced garlic and the jalapeno and just set it aside and then I will throw the rest of my ingredients into this same little chopper. So the garlic and the jalapeno I do like to do really finely minced and then the onion and the green pepper I don't need to mince quite as finely. So now I'm just going to throw that right into my chopper and do the same thing but I'm going to leave these pieces just a little bit bigger. So now I'm just adding everything right into my pot on the stove. So I've got my tomatoes in there, my onions, green peppers, garlic, as well as the jalapeno. You could also add some cilantro at this time, but I do skip that because my husband doesn't like it, but that is definitely an option. And then for seasonings, I add about three quarters of a teaspoon of ground cumin, as well as about three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. I would say start with about three quarters of a teaspoon of both of those, and then you can work your way up to a teaspoon just based on taste. You don't want to add too much right off the bat. But then I'm just going to let this simmer for about 30 minutes and this is what it looks like when it's all done. It's just nice and cooked down. Super, super delicious restaurant style salsa. I know you guys are absolutely going to love this one. Definitely give it a try. If you try it out, go ahead and tag me over on Instagram. This is seriously one of my favorite summertime salsa recipes and it's so, so simple to make. So I know you guys are going to love it. If you are new here, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!